Skips. Pfft, I can beat that. Painting looks great, Boulder. Thanks. But Blossom Vale deserves the credit. It's so beautiful. That is due to 82% less litter compared to similar sized recreation areas. People love this place, so they take care of it. To think we almost lost Blossom Vale to a housing development. Thankfully, the council refused that offer. The mayor and his wife like to snorkel here. Watch this one. How about calling it a tie, boys? Aww. <gasps> Someone fell into the old Hawkins well. <gasps> okay, everyone, stand back. Her name's Kathy. Hurry! Kathy, we're here to help you. Dad, it's too narrow for an adult. Can I try? It's going to be okay, Kathy. <gasps> Kathy! A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. He's been a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Records show the well is 25 feet deep. Let's dig a bigger hole next to it, angled to the bottom. Do it. Is she all right? You can ask her yourself. My name is Kathy. Let's have fun. Yep. We just rescued a talking doll. <gasps> Kathy! Ew, you've got her all dirty. Mother, will this decrease her value as a limited edition? I'm afraid so, sweetheart. Well, since you dropped her down there, you can buy me a new one. Miss Pinch? Oh, relax, Charlie. I'll reimburse the city for your time. However, very impressive robots. There could be quite a market for them. How much for the whole set? Kind of you to offer, Madeline, but they're not for sale. Well, if you ever change your mind. Priscilla, dear, we don't want to be late for tennis. <laughs> Why so glum, son? Is that uh, Chaco Atomic Blast losing its appeal? No, it's just sometimes the pinches act like they own the whole island. Well, some people are just used to getting what they want, no matter who it impacts. Regarding that, sir, I'd like to say thank you for not selling us. You can't sell a partner, Chase, or a friend. Someone must have dropped this. Chief Burns here. Did you lose a phone? The project is the priority. What? 
I'll put this into the lost and found box later. I need to take care of something, Cody. Can you walk home from here? Uh, sure. I guess. Bye? Sir, obviously you didn't see the trash receptacle right next to you. We have something important to take care of, Chase. Is it time for graffiti removal? Or crossing guard duty? Or, dare I dream, disbanding unruly loiterers? Something like that. I repeat, please evacuate Blossom Vale in a calm, orderly fashion. It's, it's okay, I'm 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 go. And do not be alarmed by the imminent danger. <gasps> Perhaps I should have phrased that differently. Hey, Dad. Everything okay? We hadn't heard from you in... I'm wiped out, Cody. We'll talk tomorrow. He probably just had a rough day. Chase, what were you guys doing all this time? Evacuating Blossomvale. Chief was adamant that poisonous sulfur levels were dangerously high. What? We were out there! <laughs> I knew I wasn't feeling well. Sulfur doesn't bother us, Blades. Oh. Well, just knowing it's there makes me hurt a little inside. I didn't detect any sulfur at Blossomvale this morning. Nor did I this afternoon. Nonetheless, the Chief insisted that hey. we... If the Chief said the Vale needed to be evacuated, then it needed to be evacuated. Something's wrong. I can feel it. What? Hello? The project is the priority. And the priority is the project. Danny's still out on night shift. She'll have to join us later. Ugh. Why is everyone up so early? We're working on a little project, Cody. Go back to sleep. Those phones look just like the one we found at the bus stop. I'm thinking about making them standard issue. Come on, boys. We're on a schedule. Griffin Rock emergency. I'll send someone right away. We have a car fire downtown on Waverly. Kate, do you? Hey, why aren't you answering Cody? The project is the priority. What project? Blossom Vale. All right, Kate, it's high time I was told what's going on out there. No, it's high time you started following orders without questioning them. I dare you to say that again. Heatwave, we're on a highly sensitive mission. No debate, total radio silence. Is that understood? Understood. <sighs> Danny, we have an emergency call. Sorry, Cody, but we just had a whole night of missing pets, wandering traffic light bots, and unruly loiterers. Shame Chase couldn't join us on that last one. But I can't reach anyone else. <sighs> that car fire is now a structure fire. And my scoop claw is feeling inadequate. Where is Heat Wave? Dad? Kate? Graham? Anybody? The fire is spreading out of control. That 
does it. Cade, we're firefighters. Why aren't we doing our jobs? Danny can handle it. Chief, perhaps if we understood the reason why this project is considered a priority, and vice versa. Other than poisonous sulfur levels, which don't actually exist. You're right. It's time we filled you in. Graham? We're not even making a dent. I wish my knuckles could spray water like heat waves. Actually, no, I don't. That's kind of weird. Danny, I have an idea. Blades, fan the water over the fire with your tail rotor. <laughs> like that's gonna work. Nice call, Cody. As much as I love ponying that fire, who's gonna fix the hydrant? Or tow that wreck? Or direct traffic? Apparently not my family. I can't believe Dad would ever be okay with this. Dad isn't acting like Dad. Yesterday, he closed down Blossom Vale and made up a reason why. Blossom Vale, huh? Positive. I'll call it in. Bring more just like this one. Yes, yes sir. Guys! Why are you digging up Blossom Vale? <sighs> this is our priority. Says who? Me. trying to reach you. What is going on here? Ground contamination. You're just in time to help, Danny. I'll check Blade's scoop claw to confirm it can handle the weight. Wait, hold, hold on. Exactly how is moving dirt around more important than a fire downtown? The entire island is at risk because of Blossom Vale. You aren't questioning my judgment, are you, Danny? Uh, no. I'm just confused, Dad. Here. These new phones have a secure line so we can communicate without anyone listening in. Let's test the connection. The project is the priority. And the priority is the project. Danny! No! It's the phones! I think they're hypnotizing people! Answer it, Danny. Uh... Thanks, but I'm good with the comm units. <gasps> Run! <sighs> what now? Yeah, we find Doc Green, and then... <laughs> the project is the priority. <gasps> and the priority is the project. Help us, Cody. Yes, Cody. Help us. <laughs> He could jeopardize everything. He won't. Danny, the freighter's waiting. We're behind schedule. Understood. Hello there, Cody. Doc, something's wrong. My family's in some kind of trance. The bots, too. That sounds serious. We'd better meet at Town Hall. Don't worry, Cody. We told the mayor all about the phones. He's waiting for you. But I never told you about the phones. You see, Cody, your father came to see us this morning. It would be so much easier if you just joined us. Otherwise, 
We have to keep you from endangering the project. We won't hurt you, Cody. I lost him! Spread out! I knew it. He's in the storm drain! Frankie! This one's good to go. about priorities, Boulder. <gasps> the marina. Doc, do not let Cody take a boat off the island. Cody. again. Oh yeah, prove it. What's your favorite way to spend Saturday afternoon? Painting, usually. Do some research, maybe listen to music. Okay, it's you. Actually, I would have accepted any answer other than dig up Blossom Vale. I think I know how to snap everyone else out of their trances. Smash their phones. I have been dispatched to assist in the search. Comb this area. I think they believe me. I just don't understand how phones can hypnotize people. It must be the tone they emit when a call is answered. So the phone instructed Dad to recruit everyone to help dig up Blossom Vale and to stop anyone who gets in the way. But why? They must be in the pit. Okay, we jump down there and crush Dad's phone. Then he can help us with the others. You should know by now, son, you can't fool Frankie. Smart girl. Boulder, run! Now how are we going to disable everyone's phones? We won't have to! Not if we disable that! The cell tower will knock out the signal for every mobile phone on the island. They're heading for the cell tower! I'm so sorry. I don't remember anything except you and I having ice cream. You disposed of your cone improperly. I should have known immediately something was amiss. Someone planted that phone on the bench, Dad, just so you'd find it. A phone that hypnotizes people to carry out orders? I can't believe tech like that even exists. 
And that it worked on bots. That's dangerous science. I feel so used. But why would someone want to dig up Blossom Vale? Gold. Lots of it. I wonder where they took it all. I, I mean, where we took it. Isn't it weird that a company tried to buy Blossom Vale right before all this happened? It's like they knew the gold was here. And when they couldn't buy the land, they used those phones to get us to do their dirty work. However long it takes, we'll find whoever's responsible. We did this. We can fix it. We'll fill in the pit, plant trees, and use my painting as a guide. I suggest we begin post-haste. Looks like we'll have some help. Like I said, people love this place, so they take care of it. Mommy, look what I found under the sea. It's so shiny! I want it! Sorry, dear. I instructed my company to recall this model. The signal needs to be much stronger. I'll do the rescue! Policing the dock area, an excellent opportunity to explore the intricacies of maritime law. <laughs> Not today, Chase. We're just here to escort a shipment from the government over to Doc's la la ah! lab. Score, bro. New tech for the taking. How about a little sound wave distraction? <laughs> yeah. Hang on, Mr. Bunny. Cease and desist your larceny. seem to be experiencing fluid leakage. Nothing to worry about. I've just caught a little bug. <sighs> Shall I roll down my window so you may release it? That cop car's running a little sluggish. Bet it needs oil. Nice drive. I do not understand, Chief. Perhaps if you could say it and not spray it. Tech thievery, juvenile pranks. Looks like our old friends Evan and Miles are back on Griffin Rock. We'd better... Get me home. Dad's sick with the flu. No rescues for him for a while. Ooh, there is an upside. With dead out of commission, the next oldest Burns, namely me, assumes command. Great. I second Cody's sarcasm. What does it mean to be sick with the flu? I got sick the first time I flew. Perhaps this handbook on human illness will enlighten us. Flu symptoms include exhaustion, fever, and a running nose. <laughs> a running nose? They can't even walk. Can they? In other words, a sick human is less productive. On the contrary, Chief was quite productive of a substance known as mucus. I collected a sample if you would like to see. Ew, 
humans. No thanks, Chase. What's wrong with you? I'll take a look. Attention, team. Got our first emergency with me in charge. Ruptured gas line downtown. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Huh? I wanted to say that. Hi, Kate. I figured since Dad's out sick, I could ride with Chase. That way you'll have a full team and... <laughs> Sorry, Squirt, but to ride on this rescue, you need to be this tall. Oh, too slow. Just because I'm not big doesn't mean I can't help. Actually, it does. A rescue like this takes size and strength. I tell you what, we'll arm wrestle for it. Deal. Why are we wasting time with games? We have an emergency. Two seconds, Heat. Ready? Set. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, he's getting me. Oh, hi. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> you lose. Listen up, heat wave, you... Put out those fires, good. Chase, set up barricades. As per standard procedure. Graham and Boulder, you're on gas main repair. Kate, you don't have to try to be dad. We know what we're doing. If that was true, you'd know I want a two mile perimeter clear of pedestrians right now. Copy that, Captain Cranky Pants. <laughs> Cranky Pants, good one. <laughs> Gas fire. You need I to. I know. Power up and energize. So what's your assignment? Duh. I'm the leader. Cody, you're just in time to help us assemble the stasis machine. Or attempt to. Chief informed me that thieves absconded with part of the shipment. What's a stasis machine do? If it works right, nothing. Precisely. Stasis is the absence of activity. This device is designed to freeze an object in time and space. Like the pause button on a DVR. In a manner of speaking, think of the stasis machine as a molecular refrigerator. Aging stops for objects exposed to its ray. Imagine the possibilities. With this technology, bananas could stay ripe for years and years. And someday, through the science of stasis, humans might no longer grow old. An extended lifetime of eating ancient bananas? Yum. There does seem to be a part missing. The remote is powered up. <laughs> ah! <coughs> Cody, you all right? <coughs> uh, yeah, fine. I'm not so sure about that. Whoa, that machine shrunk you guys. On the contrary. You, uh, might want to... Fascinating. Weird. Noble. Uh, Dad? That's not stasis. Quite right. It's only half of stasis. This machine appears to have two parts. One that ages and one that reverses aging. When complete, these two forces balance each other, creating stasis. So this is what I'll look like someday. How old do you think I am now, Doc? 25, 30? And how tall, like six feet? Ow! Closer to six, too. What do you think of my stash? Looks like a moldy caterpillar. Dad, you have to change him back. Would that I could, my young Tesla. I suspect the stolen piece of this machine could reverse Cody's uh, growth spurt. So, as long as the tech's missing, Cody's stuck like that? Is this awesome or what? Perhaps not. If I could invert the polarity. Ah, uh, no hurry. Yes, hurry. Oh, I can't wait for Kate to see me now. Being bigger rules. Oh! <laughs> Gravity has a few rules of its own. This thing's for kids, anyhow. See ya! <gasps> oh. 
Halt, interloper. <laughs> Relax, Chase. It's me, Cody. Identification confirmed. However, your appearance and tonal transmissions have changed drastically. Not to mention my bedtime. Cody, what happened? You have a lip warmer like Chief. I believe it is called a sneeze guard, or in some jargons, a crumb catcher. Was that inside your nose the whole time? Forget the mustache, guys. Look at me. Bigger, stronger, I've turned into an adult. Yeah, transform into a truck, then we'll talk. Come on. Haven't you bots ever wished you were taller? I have enough difficulty with low overpasses as it is. Cody, when you're our size, a few extra human feet doesn't make much of a difference. It's more than height. Now I'm an official grown-up. Wait, does this mean no more lad pioneers? No need. Adults get to have real adventures. Grown-up Cody. This could take some getting used to. Guess who? Cody, grow up. Um, he already did? Yeah, what? Incredible. As long as it's temporary. It is temporary, right? Not sure. What? Hey! This is where you guys have been hiding the leftover Halloween candy? You look older than us. Ha! <laughs> I know. Yeah. Ooh, too slow. Oh, nice. You've gone from Pip Squeak to Pip Freak. I've gone from being smaller than you to being taller than you. Emergency dispatch. We're on our way. A rocket crashed downtown. Just another Saturday in Griffin Rock. Rescue bots, get your tailpipes and gear. We have a situation. I'll ride with Chase. And you can't say I'm not big enough this time. <laughs> that was your rule, Cade. Technically, you could even argue that Cody appears to be the oldest making him team leader. Tell you what, I'll arm wrestle you for it. Oh, real mature. Chase, is this awesome or what? It is a new experience. Your selection of music is much more dissonant than Chief's. I fail to understand why increased body mass inspires such joy. You don't get it because you've never been small. Being big means you get to do more cool stuff. Such as? Such as beating Kate to a mission. Uh, can I try parking? Certainly. First, check your blind spot. Then... Huh. <laughs> what took you? That can't be government issue. It's a Mr. Cullen issue. Amateur astronomer. Looks like his latest launch didn't. Those poles are about to give. We need to move the rocket now. There are 200 pounds of fuel in its tank. If we jostle the payload, it could ignite. An unchecked explosion that size could cause a lot of damage. Blades and I can snag the rocket with a grapple and carry it out to the ocean. Problem solved. Good. Danny, you go. No! It's tangled. If you pull on it, the power lines might spark and boom. Well, do you have a better idea? Yes. First, we shut off the juice to the lines, then we move the rocket. That's what I would suggest. Okay, Cody, the power switch is located at the top of those poles. Heat wave, may I please use your ladder? Oh, now he's not only taking charge, he's ordering around my bot. More like asking politely. You should try it sometime. I'll do it, Cade. I'm not sure you're tall enough to reach. <sighs> Ah. Ah. You may be a fireman, but I think you just got burned. <laughs> We're ready for you, Blades. No, we are ready. You're going to clear a perimeter and get those looky-loos a safe distance away. But I... You don't like the job. Go home. Oh. All right, everyone, I need you to um, step back for your safety, and you have to listen to me because I'm an adult. Really. I've never seen you in town before. Are you part of the Bruins family, too? Haley, it's me, Cole. Oh, uh, Cole, Cade's cousin. Get filling in for my dad, I mean, Chief, while he's out with the flu. Well, it's nice of you to lend Cade a hand. Huh. Ah!
Danny, hurry! The rocket's fuel tank is separating from the fuselage. We're losing it! Incoming! Take cover! You saved my life. Ew. Haley, are you... I'm fine, thanks to Cole. You never told me about your cousin, Cade. Where have you been hiding him? In much smaller clothes. Can I take you to lunch? I don't need anybody to take me. I can drive. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I know, Annie. Will you excuse us? Go home. You may look all grown up, but you're still just a kid. You don't belong here. You're just mad because you can't push me around anymore. Care to test that theory? <clears throat> I am not certain Chief would condone this course of action. I'm all for power struggles. After we finish the task at hand. Come on, Chase. Kate can handle this without us. I kind of miss the old Cody. The young Cody. Hey, Frankie. Want to hang out? Uh... I can't. I'm still helping Dad. This is test banana number 17. I clearly need to recalculate my data. You go, Frankie. Have fun. You're only young once. Uh, so to speak. Yeah! Oh! Denied! Ooh! Uh. I'm craving you. That's great. Look, I ought to go back and check on Dad. Thanks for coming over. See you later. Excuse me, shall I join you in your toss the orb through the ring contest? <laughs> no, you're way bigger than me. Wouldn't be much fun. Hmm. Perhaps that is what Francine was feeling as well. Oh, great. Cade thinks I'm a big kid and Frankie doesn't want to hang out with a grown up. I just want to go back to normal. Okay, check it out. We find a way in, nab the rest of that stasis machine, and we're golden. Cops can't catch you if they're frozen in place. Uh-huh. Halt, perpetrators! Seriously? Do you not have a robot donut shop to be at? <laughs> Looks like we found that way in. Ah, another Burns kid? How big is that family? Better question. How many friends do they have? Here, Trex, intruders! Come in, rescue team. Chase and I are tailing Evan and Miles. Request backup. Yeah, listen, Cole. I don't care what size you are, you're still a kid. You don't get to request anything. I'm chasing the thieves who have the machine that'll change me back to normal. On our way. Are you familiar with the human known as Miranda? Chase, look out! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Once we hijack the ferry to the mainland, we're home free. Joy ride's over! Time for a field test. <laughs> Chill. We'll lose him on foot. Where's Kate? Is he hit? Is it bad? Yes, but somehow very fitting. Go on. Say something. You know you want to. I know how you feel, Kate. How am I supposed to explain this to Haley? 
I thought you said she likes kids. Heatwave, Chase. Go around to the back of the warehouses. Kate and I will flush out Evan and Miles. You sure you want me along? So you lost some height. You still have all your emergency response training, right? Doi. Then you're a part of this team. Here. Don't want to hurt your widow head. Oh, Cody! Can I borrow some clothes? Ow! Here, bro. Maybe you need this more than me. Oh, six foot two has disadvantages. Hope you brought your baby blankie. You're messing with the wrong family, punk. <laughs> <laughs> What's the squirt think he's gonna do? Who are you calling squirt? <laughs> now! You want this? Dive! No! Jail Cell Express, fellas. Can we dunk them in the ocean first? Blades? Just their feet? <laughs> Look, Code, I... I might act like a jerk to you sometimes, but it's only because... He wants to protect you. And the reason you act like a jerk to me is... Tradition. I should have the stasis machine fully operational within the hour. That's <laughs> three out of four. <sighs> Fever's broken and I'm finally feeling like myself again. I think I'll go back to bed. I'll do the rescue! And that's the last filter we need to replace. Thanks, guys. Happy to help, Graham. Happier to be done. Cody, how'd soccer tryouts go? I didn't make the team. I'm sorry, what was that? I didn't make the team. Oh, bud, that, that's too bad. No, 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 too bad. He just ruined our family legacy. Look at these trophies, me, dad, even Graham. We had to build a whole shelf for Danny. Every Burns is a soccer star. Wait, is soccer the one where they run back and forth across the same patch of grass? I think that's called football. Cody, don't feel bad. You're good at lots of other things. But nothing that counts. When he's right, he's right. Ow! What? I said he was right. I want the whole team at the Griffin Rock Fun Zone now. Why, Dad? Need more tokens? Nope. But I could use a mechanical bull spotter. I believe it has spotted us, sir. Insert more tokens to continue the ride. <laughs> Insert more tokens to continue the ride. Chief, my tactics appear ineffectual. Do not humans advise to grab the bull by the horns? Unfortunately, they don't tell you what to do next. Oh. Holy! <laughs> A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. He's Earth was their home, now and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the humans, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. Family of heroes will be your allies. Remain robust in disguise. Rescue bots, go to the rescue. 
Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Danny, try to get a visual on the mechanical bull. We need to corral it before it runs too far. Sure, Dad. But just one question. Where did that thing come from? It's an experimental carnival ride from the mainland. That thing's supposed to be fun? Programmed with extras to make staying on the bull's back more challenging. And our job harder. An untested prototype malfunctioned here. What are the chances? Based on local statistics, I calculate 99.9%. I've ridden tons of mechanical bulls. How bad can this one be? Stand back, partner. I'll rustle this little doggy. Insert more tokens to continue the ride. intelligence. Maybe we can talk it down. I shall attempt to reason. Halt! This area is not zoned for livestock. Or mechanical stock. Ah, I see we share a respect for civil coding. Don't worry, the muscle's here. Looks like you put the tech in sleep mode. Nice work, partner. No problem. After all, I am a bulldozer. <laughs> Dozer. <laughs> Good one. Do you remember when the bots didn't understand Earth humor? I miss those days. Cody, can you tell Doc we have something for him? I'll meet you at the lab, Dad. On guard! <laughs> ha! Consider yourself proved. Hey, Doc. Hope you have room on the best left forgotten shelf. The bots are bringing you up. Wait, don't tell me. Is it a space time continuum rupturing toaster? <sighs> a giant mechanical bull. That was my next guess. But I'm afraid this is too big and potentially too dangerous for the BLF. It belongs on the island of Misfit Tech. Wait, the island? You mean it exists? I always thought it was a bedtime story. Oh dear. I seem to have spilled a top secret. Hold on while I get my memory erasing earmuffs. It's okay, Doc. The whole team has maximum security clearance. What's so secret about another island anyway? This one is the storage center for Griffin Rock's most hazardous experiments. It's in the middle of the ocean, completely impossible to find. Then how can we send tech there? Follow me. Wait, we're carrying this thing the whole way? Are there stairs? Ta-da! Yeah, Doc, there's nothing here. So it seems. But with a jump to the left... <laughs> Come on! Dr. Green, your appearance is quite disarming. Okay, that is a little creepy. There's an entire building back here, hidden by the hologram. Just close your eyes and follow my voice. Lady and gentlemen, may I present the Beam Box. It has a more scientific name, but mine's quite catchy, don't you think? 
Teleportation through this chamber is the only way to the island of misfit technology. Entanglement-based delivery without biodigital cloning? Doc, how'd you build this? I didn't. In fact, I don't know who did, or even how it works. Good thing my predecessors left me this instruction manual. Oh yeah, sounds totally safe. Enough! <coughs> oh. ah. The bulls fail technology. Just destroy it. Ah, but a failure in one category may be a success in another. For example, nobody thought mold on an orange was useful until a scientist discovered it was medicine. <laughs> also, a good way to tell when it's time to clean the fridge. Similarly, this machine makes a horrible nose hair trimmer, but on plants, it's perfect. That's why we tag everything we send to the island. If we decide later that getting rid of the tech was a mistake, we can call it back. Which is about as likely as the soccer team changing their mind about Cody. Oh, you, you didn't make the team? Why didn't you tell me, son? Because he's humiliated. Come on, guys, show him a little sensitivity. Ow! Would you quit doing that? Cody, there's no need to be ashamed. Soccer's not the only sport out there. It's the only one that matters. Should those optics be glowing? Hmm. It seems one of the bull's internal systems is restarting. I'm on it. I'm beginning to think this guy doesn't like me. Not you, your color. Bulls hate the color red. That's only a myth. Somebody better tell the bull. Or whoever programmed it. Now I see why they don't let those things in China shops. Quickly! Get the bull inside before it damages any machinery. Hey, Bull! Bull, over here! Hey, Bull! Let's go! Doc, shut off the beam box! Cody! Insert more tokens to continue the ride. Oh man, my jacket. Oh man, my comm link. Come back! Uh. Scrapmaster, data, online. Wow, an early version of the Scrapmaster. But why would a trash compactor be sent here? Refuse marked for destruction. Because it can't tell the difference between trash and me! for destruction. Doc, reverse that thing! Bring Cody back! I can't! Cody doesn't have a recall tag. Only the bull does. So bring back the bull! That won't help unless Cody is still touching it. For Cody's sake, I hope he's not. That bull is dangerous. Our best bet is to send someone with a new tag to find Cody. And that someone is me. I don't know, Heatwave. On TV, the guy wearing your color never comes back from these missions. It is true that the bull does not seem fond of your red exterior. I'm not going there for a bullfight. I'm rescuing Cody. Yeah, we got this. Heatwave, transform! I don't think so. Cody will be a lot happier to see me than you. What? What, because of the soccer thing? I was joking. We're wasting time arguing. Heatwave, if you're ready. I'll beam you and Cody back exactly one minute from now. We'll miss you! Back off, you tech reject. Cody, Cody, do you copy? Cody, where are you? Cody, Cody! Uh, Doc, you were supposed to beam a bot back. That's the Scrapmaster. 
A prototype we banished because it was too dangerous. Refuse marked for destruction. To humans. Ugh. Let's see how it feels about me. Refuse marked for destruction. I order you to cease and desist all demolition activities. Refuse marked for destruction. Now you're just flouting authority. Oh, come on, you glorified trash can. Pick on someone your own size. Keeping in mind, I'm much smaller than you. <laughs> Refuse marked for destruction. <laughs> Let him go! <laughs> oh, that was my only tie. All right, everyone out. But, Dad, what about Cody? We can't help him if we're all reduced to scrap. We need to regroup. Well, lock that hunk of junk inside. No way it's coming after us. Well, perhaps not. But now that menace is trapped inside with some very sensitive machinery. And we have no way to get Heatwave and Cody back. Don't worry. I have a plan. Why am I not reassured? I think I lost that thing. Ah! Ew! Ah! Seriously? They couldn't turn these things off before sending them to the secret island? I mean, take the batteries out or whatever. It's not complicated. Cody! Where are you? Doc is beaming us back any second. Oh, no. My tag. Hey! No! Hey! Have I mentioned... No! Oh. I don't like human sporting events! Ha! Serves you right. Still hungry? How about thirsty? This could take a lot of water. So? What do you think? I don't like it. The Scrap Master took down Heat Wave, and you want to go back in there? I'm the only one that thing hasn't marked for destruction. I'll slip by without it noticing. We can help run interference. Ensuring the Cade reaches the bean box safely. Any better ideas, Doc? Nothing that won't take weeks in nuclear fusion. All right, bots, let's move. Refuse marked for destruction. See? This is the part I wasn't really on board with. Just keep old Scrappy away from the bean box. Ah! Deploy phase two of the plan. Kate, think rapidly. Refuse marked for destruction. Listen, purple software upgrade, I am not a tree! Oh well, worth a try. Great, everybody's here. Whoa! Wow, that was actually helpful. Programmed to like blue as much as you hate red. Noble. Bring me back in ten minutes! Cody? He wave! Security! 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 Hey, you stop! Leave me alone! Security! 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 Cody! Heatwave! Come in! Cade! Is that you? 
Is he wife here too? I'm here. <laughs> Great. But where is here? Security. I'm walking away from a cliff with lots of trees. I'm in some kind of dry gulch. <laughs> that doesn't really help. Why couldn't Doc give me a map? Heatwave, I see you! Cody, stay back! I'm on empty and these things are dangerous! What in the all spark? Don't thank me later! about the new paint job, but the bull's big on blue. And rough on red. Well, this is better than buffing out hoof dance. It does come off, right? A little help! Ah! Security! Security! Wow, Chase would love those guys. Don't worry, Kate. The bull will save you. You mean the bull that started this mess in the first place? Ah! Doesn't seem too interested in yellow droids. They don't have to stay yellow. Whoops. Guess that's why this thing's misfit tech. Heatwave, short out the droid's power switches. Can't. I'm still synthesizing water. Maybe I can help. No way! Nice throw, Cody. Strike three and they're out! Bro! Soccer is definitely not your sport. But I think I know what is. But what about the family legacy? Ah, so we start a new one. At least this way, I don't have to worry about you breaking any of my soccer records. Hate to interrupt family time, but there's still the matter of getting back to Griffin Rock. Not a problem. It's been almost ten minutes. As long as the three of us are touching, Chase should bring us back any second. Of course, we do have a berserk scrap master waiting for us. What? That's where my tag went. Maybe we should bring back up. Has it been ten minutes yet? Uh, uh, Blades, summon chief! Way ahead of you, partner. It was getting pretty noisy in here. We figured you might need some help. There's a reason rescue bots come in sets of four. Hey, trash eater, how about a junk food snack? <laughs> Cade, where's Cody? And Heatwave. Why did you bring the bull back? Just keep the bean box open, Doc. Cade, it's paint time. Step away from the scrap master. The Scrap Master is Scrap! Good work, team. Indeed. All that remains is to send the bull and that paint cannon back to the island. Do we have to? Oh, come on, Cody. You can't seriously want to keep them here. But they saved us. It doesn't matter that they're not great at what they were made for. Yeah, it's like Cody and soccer. That easy. All I'm saying is, just because you're a disaster in one sport doesn't mean you're bad at all of them. Remember me and gymnastics? <laughs> Hey, I don't like leotards, okay? Maybe it's the same thing for this tech. Now that we know what they are good at, they deserve another chance. All right, we'll give them a try. Thanks, Cade. Hey, you can thank me by grabbing your glove and meeting me at the field for practice. We want you ready for baseball tryouts. Deal? Deal. I'll do the rescue! 